Hi, this is Joanne Marcinek from AskJoanne.com and today we're going to talk about Google Webmaster Tools. Google Webmaster Tools provides you with some behind-the-scenes information about how Google sees your website, information that you can't get any other place. Get to Webmaster Tools by Googling Webmaster Tools and clicking on the top link. Log in using your Google account or if you don't have a Google account, click here to create a Google account. The first place you get to is to your dashboard. At your dashboard, you should type in the website that you want to add to your Webmaster Tools account. First thing that it tells you to do is to verify your website. This is so that Google knows that you have authority to view details about this website. There are two ways to verify a site. One is by adding a meta tag to the website. The other is by uploading an HTML file. I'm going to choose Upload an HTML file and Google tells me what the name of the file should be. I'm going to copy this and then go over to Dreamweaver and upload a file to joeavatar.com that has exactly this name. I'll be right back. Okay, I've added a file with this file name to joeavatar.com and now I'm going to click the verify button. I've successfully verified this website. Now there's lots and lots of data available here as with virtually all Google tools, but today I'm going to focus mainly on the links and the diagnostics. We'll start with diagnostics. Diagnostics information can tell you how Google sees your site and whether there have been any errors or problems with the web, web crawl or on the content analysis side, which I think is really cool, this will let you know if you've got any content issues with your site. Now this site doesn't have any content issues, but some other sites that I've worked with recently will show things like if you have duplicate title tags, meta descriptions that are too long or too short, Google will note these for you and these are areas that you'll want to address in your website optimization. Another really important area that, of Google Webmaster Tools is the links. As you probably know, links are very important to Google and quality relevant incoming links to your website are an important way that Google determines how your site should show up in the rankings. This link right here, Pages with External Links, will tell you the number of links to your website. One interesting thing to note is the information that you get here on external links is different than what the link command, link colon www.joeavatar.com, shows me that only three sites are linking to joeavatar.com. However, here in Webmaster Tools, it tells me I have 22 links, and if I click on the number 22, it will actually show me the individual sites that are linking to my home page. So those 22 links, that's information I can't get any other place aside from Webmaster Tools. This link command is very helpful for when you're doing link building for your website. It lets you know who's already linking to you, and it will also let you know when you're when you've requested links from someone whether they actually did get a give a link to your website that's it for today's screencast on Google Webmaster Tools there's lots of other information available there but those are the two main things that I wanted to tell you about if you've got any questions at all about this screencast Google Webmaster Tools or anything else about optimizing your website please feel free to contact me through my website at askjoanne.com my email is info at askjoanne.com and my phone number is 203 three six four zero two two two. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.